My girlfriend at the time and I would spend six weeks canoeing across part of North Quebec. Never saw a single person in six weeks. During that canoe trip, we would see these small planes flying over. And that's when I started getting the idea of these little float planes. I started thinking, okay, I want to become a pilot. That's one reason it took me seven years to move to Alaska, because I had to study aviation. There's a lot of different things I had to do. But uh, that's when I got that idea after that trip to Canada. I started studying flying. And that did slow me down to Alaska, but that was a good thing too, because now I can actually afford an airplane. I just got back into flying last year. And uh, the next stage of my life, I think that's going to be quite important. So when you first got there and you set up your shack, you're, you're living out there, you're hunting from, and you feel like, I mean, this is something that was going to be calling you the area. Uh, it kind of feel very strange that you were actually making it happen. Like, oh. it must have felt cool. Oh, it always does when you do something you've been doing for a long time. I always like to wake up and go, I'm actually doing it. I have this crazy pipe dream. I live in the woods next to a lake. Now it's real. It, 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 I was, I just felt super fortunate. And that's still how I feel. Like all these things that I've experienced out there, I realize how few people in this day ever get to experience these things. Right next to grizzly bears. Wolves, grizzly bears, wolf brains of these animals have the same area that I do. And I have a lot of interaction because I'm out there so much. You know, over the years a lot of things have happened. I spent a lot of time around wolves. Drop inbound. We have a loadout drop here. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone.
Very scary stuff. You know, it's uh, in parts of Wisconsin where my friend Doug Durant lives, where you know, 50% of the deer they, they test, they test positive for CWD, yeah. which is a uh, real fatal disease. It hasn't made a jump to humans yet, but... You know, this is... Um, Coming from the deer, like you said, there's a lot of deer. deer we're deer and moose live together. Moose get We don't have any deer, so other than moose and caribou, that's why we don't have the prion disease. Look at all. Well, moose are a deer. Caribou are a deer, but we don't have anything other than moose and caribou. Those are much further south, down to southeast Alaska. I don't know their exact way, but nowhere near where I am. It's too harsh. Enemy UAV active. Enemies deployed a counter UAV. Enemy soldier incoming. Buy station here. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. You load up now.
Pass is inbound. Marking new safe zone. LMG marked. Friendly loadout drop on the way. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Enemy UAV overhead. Ten remain. You're nearly done. Inbound. Safe zone relocated. Bring home the win. mission. Take them down. <laughs> All targets eliminated. <laughs> 